Let's balance the equation for B2Br6 plus HNO3. This is diboron hexabromide plus nitric acid. We'll also take a look at the type of reaction. So let's start with the type of reaction. In this case, it looks like the boron and the hydrogen, they're changing places. So we have BNO3, this is the BNO3-3 here, and then the hydrogen, that's going with the Br. So that's a double displacement reaction. That's the type of reaction we have here. Let's balance the equation. Two borons, six bromine. We have one hydrogen, and then we're gonna use a bit of a trick here. We have this nitrate group here, NO3. We have it here again. So since we have it on both sides, we're gonna count it as just one thing. That makes the balancing a lot quicker. You get the same answer either way. This is just faster. One nitrate. Product side, one boron. We have one hydrogen and one bromine. And then we have one nitrate times three. So we have three of those. Let's just start by putting a two in front of the boron nitrate. We have one times two. That'll balance the borons. And then we have the three nitrates times two. Three times two, that'll give us six of those. Hmm. It looks like we could put a six in front of the nitric acid now. So we have our nitrate, our one nitrate times six. And then that would balance the nitrates. So they're balanced. And then one times six for the hydrogen, that gives us six of those. But now if we put a six as our coefficient in front of this HBr, one times six, that balances the hydrogens. One times the six, that'll balance the bromines. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So by counting this nitrate as just one thing, since it appears on both sides, that really helps with these double displacement reactions. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for B2Br6 plus HNO3. Thanks for watching.